All right, everybody, this, uh, just wanted to give you a few tips here regarding your A12 visuals here um, as, and, and how to uh, set those up and get those uh, ready to um, uh, be constructed in your digital textbook here. Um, just real quick now, uh, to review, you are labeling five different parts on two different screenshots of web browsers. Um, now, in mine over here, I have all three of them, but you only need two of the three. So remember, the three that we're looking at are either Google Chrome, which most all of you are familiar with, Apple Safari, which many of you are familiar with, and then Firefox by Mozilla. Um, it used to be something that was on our lab computers. It is no longer on there. But nonetheless, I know many of you possibly may have that on your computers at home. Uh, so I did include that one as well. But remember, you only have to pick two of the three. And what I would advise you to do is you're going to make separate slides here for these. Now, if you can look at the example that's on my screen here, I have my A12 ICANN um, slide here. A little error in there I'm going to fix. But I have my A12 ICANN slide here, and I put one of the labelings um, on the A12 slide, just like we normally do with our visuals. So in this case, I put Google Chrome on here. I took the screenshot of Google Chrome and then I labeled the different parts here. Now, you may want to try to avoid, um, you know, having um, labeling that kind of goes over onto the drawing so you can see a little bit better. Mine's a little tight there, but nonetheless, you can see what we're doing here. We have the five different areas uh, or five different features, rather, that we want to label. The ref refresh button, the open tabs area, the new tab button, the address bar, and then where is our bookmark bar located. As we take a look at my second slide here in A12, I, I made an extra slide here for visuals. Now we talked about making extra slides for um, uh, lingos, but not for visuals for the ICANN. So this is a little bit new to us here. But again, I labeled the five different parts. You may want to use bigger font. You may use different colors. Hopefully by now you've figured out how to draw lines with arrows at the end. Um, if not, you can see me and I can help you with that. I use some shapes here and uh, to help me uh, outline different areas. But you can see I have the open tabs area here, bookmark bar here, address bar, refresh button, and the new tab button. Okay, And they're, they're slightly different, and that's one of the things we want to kind of point out here as we look at this is the fact that, that uh, even though the browsers share the same features, they're laid out in a little different way. So kind of be looking for that as you go through these now. Again, oh, one last thing I did want to mention is the fact that I would like to also to include the icon um, that goes with that one. So for example here, and I'm going to kind of work off screen, but if you noticed on the web page, there were um, some logos that kind of go with these. And I think these kind of help uh, to, um, you know, uh, keep track of these and, and understand them a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to have to probably move this to the back. But uh, in, again, include the logo on here because I think it, uh, um, you know, helps us identify with the browser a little bit better. Um, and you can include that, you know, just about anywhere on your drawing there. So anyhow, uh, again, logos, the labeling, obviously the screenshot. But take some time and, and really familiarize yourself with these features because these are features that uh, you will use quite often when using a web browser.